So by the end of this video, you're gonna be able to take complete control over your AF settings and how you actually use them so that you can take better photos faster with the Canon R6. Let's get into it. So in this video, I'm going to go over the AF settings, which is the purple AF under the second tab in the menu system. And there is one in here that I'm going to show you that's going to eat your battery up if you have it on. And then some of these, how to get your autofocus to work better. And then at the very end, we're going to talk about the setups that you can have for your buttons to make it quicker to take photos that look better. So first up, we have one shot and servo. The one shot will then, after you hold the trigger, it will hold that position and your focus point. The servo, wherever that focus point is at, it will be focusing on there always. One shot is really good for studios and servo is really good for moving objects. So the first settings that you can mess around with is the AF focus points, and they are pretty straightforward and easy to use. And we're gonna go over how each of these different focus points uses affects your performance of the camera. The first one spot is the narrowest focus point that you can have, followed by one spot, which is the larger, and the single use of a single focus point. The expanded is for a little bit extra for moving objects up, down, left, and right. It will help you focus even though it's a moving object and you may or may not be trailing the subject as they move through the frame. The following one is just an expanded version of that, once again used for moving subjects. Then there's the zone AF, and this is just a, there's three options. You have the area, linear, and horizon options. And this is giving control over to the camera to decide where the focus points will be at. And the focus is determined not only by the nearest subject, but faces, motion, and distance. All right, next up is under AF3, and this is all the cases that you can use. Case number one is versatile multi-purpose settings, moving for all general purposes, pretty much. Case number two is continuous tracking of the subject and nor ignoring obstacles. So if you have somebody that's doing tennis and their arms will be coming in front of their face, it's going to continue focusing where it was and ignore the object that's now obstructing it. Case number three, instantly focus on subject at suddenly entering AF positions. This is good for cycling, biking, um, if you're doing anything with motorsports and all that type of stuff where things are coming into and out of the frame incredibly fast. Then case number four is for all sorts of rapidly moving things that are like dancing and rapid sports and wrestling and all that stuff where things will suddenly be going in a different direction all of a sudden. Then case A is just an auto focus setting. You can then further customize these if you discover that it is not quite doing it for you by simply tapping on them and either making them lock on more or less. And this is going to be something that you're going to find for your own personal shooting styles over time. And now for the battery eater, it is the continuous AF focus. And that is going to, is always going to be searching, always going to be searching. So whether you have your finger on the uh, focus button or the trigger, then no matter what, it's just gonna be searching and that's gonna eat up your battery and also put a little bit more wear and tear on your lens. Another thing to look out for is having the touch shutter. So whenever you touch the back screen, it takes the picture that might also be giving you trouble with getting your focus points and messing around with it. I know that whenever I've turned it on, I've always instantly regretted it and turned it right off because I wanna move the focus point around and it's just taking pictures instead of moving, moving the focus point. All right, and now some configurations that are gonna help you probably use your camera much faster and easier to take better photos faster. The first one is going to be the drag and touch option, which is gonna allow you to then use a part of the screen as if it was like the joystick, and that's gonna allow you to move it around. And The next is to customize your buttons, and that can be found over in the orange camera number three and under button customization, and you just switch the joystick over to a uh, AF mover, I guess is what it's, that's going to be, and you switch it over into that and you are then able to use your joystick to move the AF point around. Uh, so here's some button configurations that you can do that are going to help you with shooting and choosing the AF faster. So by moving away from the front trigger to using the AF to toggle your focus point and the actual taking a focus before you take the picture, uh, you're able to do that. I don't use this. I use this for face focus and because I use a lot of one shot and I just use the front trigger anyways. 
and I have this button set up for the ISO so that I can trigger and toggle it really quick and use this to adjust it on the fly. For a lot of people, they want to have servo on and have this as their autofocus and this as their face focus and it's really just a personal choice on how you want to do that. And the last one is that if you want to really zoom in and make sure that you have focus on like the eye exactly or whatever you want. So if you're using that that um, specific spot that is the smallest focus point, you can press this one. You can toggle in up to 10 times uh, zoom so you can really see exactly where you're at to nail the autofocus. So on this channel, we help you with all things tutorials with the Canon R6. Don't forget to subscribe to never miss out on another video. Right here, we have a playlist for all other things that you can learn with your Canon R6. Thank you for watching.